Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about one of my favorite chips. Not just like in general, but like this actual chip. Because <laughs> it has some fun sentimental things. And that's one of the reasons why we collect, right? It's, you know, it's, it's interesting. So most of my collection, by the way, are in these airtight cases. So if you're looking for little cases like this, I like personally the airtight, I think it's T-I-T-E, airtight, 39 millimeter cases for lots of these pulse and casino chips. Some you need the 40 millimeter case. But these chips, or these cases are great for chips. Now, the reason why I slab certain things are the chips that I show, the things that I show the most, it doesn't have to be chips, it can be silver strikes or whatever. I like to slab car, sports cards. I like to slab because inevitably, it doesn't matter, you know, it seems to like what I show somebody. Do you remember those Mirage blue chips that would get blue onto your fingers. I'm like, oh, like this? And the first thing they do when I hand it to them is they're like, oh yeah. And they start picking, not all, not everybody, but there are a couple of people, you know who you are. They start picking at this, trying to open it up. I'm like, can you please, I don't want to put, can you just not open that up? Because they want to play with it, right? Inevitably they drop it on something. I'm like, oh, sorry, there's a, there's a chip now in your chip. <laughs> so, one reason why I slab these is for the chips that I show the most to people, usually chips with a story, I'll slab, okay? Just my preference. This is like, yeah, only a, only a me problem. So that's what you're seeing. So this is a Stardust from the 80s chip. It says right here, you know, it was first, you know, released into circulation in 1985. Now, the Stardust is relatively close to... When I say relatively, oh gosh, the strip is bigger than it looks. Those casinos are massive. But we would stay at the holiday, it was, it was the Harrah's when we were staying there. We always stayed at Harrah's and we'd go up to Stardust, we'd go up to Circus Circus, or we'd just go across the street to the Mirage or all the way down. Anyway, so my dad came back from Stardust one day and he had this actual chip and he was going to save it because he, you know, kind of likes chips every now and then. And so he was going to save it and he, I'm like, can I look at it? He's like, sure. And so he, he you know, lets me look at it. The first thing I do, I was 11 years old, just a clumsy 11 year old, is I put my finger on this coin insert and I push on it. And what happens? It pops out the other side and falls on. I'm like, oh, and my dad's like, what? Uh, now I have to go back and, you know, and so we kind of pushed it back in. It kind of stayed in place. And he's like, I'll just take it back and just cash it. And I'm like, well, can I have it? He's like, all right, sure. It's a dollar. You can have it. I'm like, yes, I'm going to break more of your stuff, dad kidding dad don't get i'm not gonna break any more of your it's all right so this is one of the first chips i owned i don't think it was the first but it was one of the first and i was like sweet score and it's still broken so if you take it out of here that's one of the reasons why i slapped it like if you if you take it out and you and it this can just fall out so completely worthless from like an investment standpoint but memorable and something i really like stardust stardust Casino, Bud Jones, coin inlay. Do you guys ever have that experience, like ever? Probably not as an adult, but it's just funny. These Bud Jones coin inlays. Coin insert. I can do I can I even get away with saying inlay anymore? People will flip out. Yeah, it also cracks me up when the the prior person who pries open all my chips, you know, sees this. It's like, oh, it's sealed. And luckily to date, they haven't tried to break the seal and pry it open. If they do, what am I going to do? Epoxy it? What do they use for slabbing cards? They use the, uh, what's it called? The ultrasonic sealer. I think that's it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about the Stardust or just Bud Jones in general with the coin insert. If you would like to support this channel, you can support me on Patreon. I just released a little video kind of behind the scenes this week. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can just, you know, one dollar on Patreon. Any little amount helps for general support on Patreon. You can also visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.